very good, very good event. She'll find a way to, to make it work. Very creative. Another impressive Canadian, Samantha Bellavo. And this is one. This is this is one, one strong woman that is in the running to possibly break a world record based on what she has been saying. And look how easy that was. She's very comfortable on that. Belt. Excellent technique. Good power. Combines well for a very comfortable wow. opening she, weight. That was such a good. Big smile walking away. Seen a lot of big smiles walk away. I think that's a good sign for the first event. Shows they're enjoying it. Shows they're performing well. How can they not enjoy this? Look at the sunshine, so the setting. The palm trees, the nice breeze, these wonderful beachgoers here. Here we have Samantha. All Bellavo. of you watching at home supporting these ladies, you are seeing professional athletes at their finest. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Woo. Now, a lot of times you're not allowed to drop dumbbells like that however with this dumbbell it is solid the big reason is because equipment but you are not going to break this dumbbell she's she just bullied that i would say very aggressive on the clean very and strong look on the how press. easy that is <laughs> oh wow you see it started rotating on her she looked out, up at it gave it a stink eye and yeah. let it fall kind of like how she dare actually you? made sure she held it locked out for longer than she needed to held it locked out you know, every point matters in these competitions. There's only eight of them. So if you lose points, it's hard to make that up. Yes, and, and you want to have a good start. Good start on this first event. It just sets you up for the rest of the competition. Yeah, you want to do what you know you can do. Here she goes. And today, unlike the men yesterday, we're back to a more traditional scoring system where doing well in the first event rewards you because you'll get to go towards the end yep. on the next event. It's always a benefit, always. Nice. As you can see at home, we're talking about the, the, the handle. That's what's causing that rotation at the end is that handle. It's hard to grip. Win today because she wants to make it a Canadian world champion weekend because her, her boyfriend yesterday, Isaac Mays, won the 105 finals. How amazing would it be if she managed to... They go home with 22 grand and two world <laughs> titles. And I'll tell you, whoever, whoever wins today is definitely going to earn the title of the Clash world champion. like a robot right to that spot every time smooth she has the less movement of everybody I think at the top I, I think so far Samantha has looked rock steady on every single rep that's what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for these athletes uh, as they start to do the jerk technique the further out their feet go the, the heavier it is the more mistakes they're gonna make and it, it looks like Samantha right now is moving her feet the least so we're moving up to 160 I believe I'll be interested to see what jumps they make next. Yeah, because you know she has her eye on the world record, so, but I don't. I don't know if Melissa keeping up with her as much is going to affect that plans. Is she, you know she has to take more attempts than she wanted. That could play into it. Well, your first goal has to be getting the points. Yeah. in the competition. Yeah, you go for the record if you already got the win secure. I believe. She looks very well trained on the dumbbell though. Fair. Steady, high elbow position. Wow, lovely. That just flew up from her shoulder like a rocket. When you're trying to fix the dumbbell against the back of your neck like that, you need the elbow high. Yeah. The higher that elbow is, the better. She's probably got the highest elbow position out of every single people. competitor. Again, again, another cue, like a, a just kind of a thing I say is, wherever your elbow is, that's where the dumbbell's going. If it's up, it's going up. If it's down, it's going down. It's huge. It wasn't that long ago that the open men's class was using this type of weight. I can hear like the shock event. in your voice, like the disbelief. I mean, I was, I was a decent open level athlete, and my best ever on a dumbbell was 118 kilos. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. But it's nothing to sneeze at, but I outweighed these ladies by a huge amount. Well, when you I put was, it that way. I'm a man, you know, naturally you've got that strength. And they are raising the level every single time I see them compete. Every time they step out on the floor. She needs to use that leg power. Rack position is good. Yes! Oh, wow. wow! Wow! And that, I think, is going to be the winning lift.
a class of her own. That's what she just proved. She's a class of her own on the dumbbell. So Nadia has to make 180 now. Yeah, Tiggs. If I'm if I'm Nadia, I don't know if I attempt the 180. I think I'm happy. I think I, I I've got second place. I take yeah. the points. Yep, that's what I do. You don't want to risk anything no. when you know you had you know you can't get anything. And else. she's having to dig deep to get these weights now. Do you know what? I didn't think she'd get as close as she did as well. When it was sat on her shoulder, she looked uncomfortable, but she really drove hard. She's it been proven not far away at all. She was proving us wrong from 160 up. <laughs> yeah. We thought it looked a little more difficult there, and she just came back and made it better. She's just so powerful. Powerful. Where she maybe lacks a little of the finesse of, of Bellevue, she just has that power. That power. That game changer. So we are down to one for the world record and the vent win. Yes. You know, I believe she has the event win regardless now, based on the last jumps. Just wiping the dumbbell off to make sure it's proper for this world record attempt. So. We want everybody, every professional athlete here, have a, a good opportunity. So we want them this. to succeed. Sam has had chalk plastered over the dumbbell with the end that's going to be on her shoulder. She wants to make sure nothing is slipping at all. Putting some extra chalk on the handle as well. Does not want to be in the same boat where she pulls and it slips out of her hand. If you thought the records were over Friday night, we're about to see one right here, I think. This. We could witness... A world record in event number one. Sam Bellamy gets it up to her shoulder. She needs to remove the left hand. Loss of leg power now. Come on, Sam. And she gets it down through a new world record. Oh, look at her go. Wow. Look at that. She that's said she wanted the world record and she came and delivered. What a way Sam to start the show. Woo! Oh, that, this is amazing. That just electrified this whole that island. That is how to break a world record. Event number one on Clash on the Coast, the under 82 kilo women. Oh, look, at this again. look at this. Absolutely smashing the dumbbell press world record. Beautiful technique. Launch it, stuck it. Give me that down call, Nick. You know what I loved about watching her then? Every single rep was the same from her first opener to the last. The technique stayed the same. That shows a well-trained athlete. The only thing she changed was she took more time before she dipped. That's smart to do. You got to brace everything, make sure everything is working in concert together. Amazing. Wow, we are hyped. We're fans Unbelievable. first. Unbelievable. We we're fans first. So we've had a world record in event number one. Come back after this break for event number two. We have the shield. Husafel carry for max distance. We'll be back shortly. We should be getting an updated score. There we go. This is our overall score after event number one. Sam Bellavo on eight points. Nadia Stowers seven. Melissa Peacock six. They are on paper the top three. Very tough. Oh, she doesn't need the nail. I almost took my nail off um, a couple weeks ago on a block press. It's horrible. I went and flipped it's and it painful. got caught. And it's quite a throbbing pain that you feel. Yep. But these athletes are tough. They block it out. That adrenaline goes. You know, adrenaline kicks in. Let's go. Sam. So, all right. So, Samantha Bellavo. Unbelievable performance in event number one. Now, as that carries over to the, the Husafel. So far, no problem. Moving well. Again, she knows 200 feet. Yes. I don't think we're going to see Erin challenged. But she needs to score big points. That consistency, as we talk about all the time, is what wins titles. She's picking up She's speed. got to be trying to think, I need to be top three. Well, it was quite short on that line, I think, there. Oh, no. Referee was a little bit generous towards her. A little but generous. Maybe he'll make sure she goes across this one. There we go. There it goes. Come on, Sam. Dig deep. Here's what she needs This right is here. where she needs to be. She needs to get across this line and keep moving. 15 seconds. Turn around. 
He made sure that time. Do you know what? I don't think she's got time to get any higher. I think this is a good placing for her, though. I think this is solid performance. Very solid. Third place. I think that's going to be third place. We're going to get the official. And that's what she needed. Good, solid performance. Aaron was unbelievable. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron set the standard. Melissa did very Melissa well. Melissa did extremely well. I knew she was going to do well, but she was almost pushing Aaron. Mm. Wow. What a great performance. What a great second event. And I'll tell you what, none of the ladies enjoyed that. No, none. Bellavo Doing what she needed to do. Yeah, third place finish on there. Yep. That consistency we talk about, the world record in event number one. Yes. And beat someone that manages to shoulder it. In theory... So there you go, you can see on screen our overall points now. Okay, I need to switch tactics. Here comes our dumbbell world record holder, Sam Bellavo. See what she can do here on the sandbag. Four, 21 points is the mark to beat. That's four loads in a line. I think Sam's gonna make this look good. Whoa! Oh. Arm away. Too fast. And that was a good solid rep. She's got to be thinking 25 points. She has to. And that's going to be very tough to beat in 60 seconds. That's almost machine-like. She, like she's not happy with that bag. And there's no messing around. She is making sure of every one of these reps. This is, this is how it's done. Right there. Stabilized, arm away, 15 points. You can see the athletes she that are needs very... She two more. They're very confident that they're doing it the correct way. Mm. Oh. Come on, Sam. You need one more up to the shoulder at least. Oh, That's she's switching um, now. Maybe she snuck an extra point there in. She's struggling now. She's yeah. got to try and get those reps. Now she's just got to get that. <laughs> Great effort. So we need to try and confirm her overall points there. I don't think she's beaten Nadia. I don't think she's beaten Nadia. She got the... Three to shoulder, and then she lapped a bunch. I don't know the exact number. <laughs> Flintstone deadlift for repetitions. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. I love commence. the look of this. It's an old fashioned look. Look at our overall results so far. Melissa Peacock is stretching that lead, that consistency. Yes, it Every is. Every single event so far, she's placed high. She's on 39 points. Sam Bellavo on 34 points. And then Nadia Stowers on 32. Those three have stretched themselves away they have, from the chasing from the pack. pack. You know, as we kind of expected. Um, but you have a, the next level of athletes. Really? I mean, anything well, can happen. Rebecca, in Aaron, events. and Jody are all going to be in a big battle for that fifth and fourth yeah. spot. And the higher up you can place, it's all important to Always. show that you want to be invited to future competitions. There's more and more opportunities coming now. You've got to make sure you put your stamp and show everyone what you're capable of. You can't just, just because you don't win doesn't mean you have to, you can't stop trying. You have to keep going. Eight reps. Eight repetitions, 450 pounds. What Takes a, her well into the lead. What a great job that was. Sam needs to really dig deep on this one. Yes. I do not know much about her deadlifting. I know she's a fantastic presser and overall athlete. She's a great athlete. Yeah, admittedly, admittedly, I have not really seen her deadlift much. Okay. Just looks slightly off center there. A little bit, yeah. She's okay with it. That's okay, three here we go. Three reps. Getting into a rhythm now. There's four. Five. She's going through these quickly. She have the. Does she have the engine to do it? That's the question. They're moving smooth. Now she needs to decide whether it's worth going for extra reps. I think with the next two athletes. Yes. You know, if she can't, if she, if she can't get to the eight. she thinks she can get eight or nine, I think it's best to leave it there. I agree. She seems happy with that. Five reps. I would be too. Once again, into second place. And again, I didn't know how she she's a she's a serviceable deadlifter. It's not great, but it's it, it's going to get her points if she needs. I think Nadia and Melissa are monster deadlifters. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be the clinic. 
Mel control. Peacock stretching her lead right now. That's two event back-to-back -back right wins. Here. 47 points. Tie for second, too. We have a big lead and a tie for second. These strong women are fighting tooth and nail, literally nail, to take that overall title home. Wow. I've been so impressed so far. Just the, oh. the standard across the board, unbelievable. I mean, the deadlifting there. We live in an era where five, four reps of that was not enough to, to even get top three. Well, you, you said you thought you made this heavy. I mean, looking at this yoke that we've got coming up now, 650 pounds. You know, that was a request. That was a strong woman. They wanted a heavy yoke. They this was before they knew what the Arnold was going to be. <laughs> well, the, the level just keeps going up every up single up. year. Hey, that's important. Get that distance. You know, it's got to, it's, it's, when you get under it and you go to pick it and it doesn't work, what are you thinking? Are you panicking? What, like, at that, because that point, it's, it's a strength thing for the, you know. If you're under there and it doesn't move, you are panicking. <laughs> panicking. Full panic. And when you panic, you kind of want the earth to just swallow you whole and take <laughs> you away. Because you know all these people are watching. Yeah. It's a horrible, you know, you put all this hard training in and then suddenly it's not going to plan. It's not a nice feeling. Not at all. And I, th I think every athlete in sport at every level has, has been there. We've all absolutely. done it. I've been glued to the floor many a time. I've had embarrassing moments where I've fallen over. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've got people laughing at you. Uh, yeah. But it takes guts to be out in the arena. And every one of these athletes deserves the respect every for single putting one. themselves in this position. Again, and pushing the boundaries on now, what strength Here comes means. one of our favorites. Sam, definitely one of our favorites. Looks confident. And she's up. And look at this. This there is a solid, goes. solid performance. Small, steady steps, but she's staying she's got up. It. She's tightening the upper back, moving well. Yeah, great job. She can finish this. She can finish this in one go. Stay strong. She needs to keep moving. Just keep it moving. She's going to finish this. There we yes. go. That is an wow. unbelievable performance there. Wow. What a solid, Still solid yoke Still fighting run. hard. That's why it's called a super yoke. Wow. Just kept going. Would not stop. Absolutely brilliant performance there. At the crowd. women's class. Odd object loading. And it is odd, and these are objects. Go through our five objects. So we have a fire hydrant, a tire, a keg, a block, and an anvil. An anvil. So it's loading all five of these objects as fast as possible. Fast as possible. High as possible, too. Very quickly, our results so far. In eighth position, we have Jessica on 9.5 points. Laura is next on 10.5. Then we have Rebecca on 16. 16. Erin on 17, Jody on 23, Nadia in third place, 31 points. Only two points behind Sam on 33 points. And then our leader, three points in the lead, is Mel on 36 points. She's in a good position, but she still needs to get the job done to be decided as the champion. First to third is five points going in the finals. You can't ask for much more. And this is one of those events where anything can happen anything it's a slight mistake mm. can cost you big points it can ruin everything Absolutely. that's all that was it was so close to going on it just bounced back off murphy's law if it can't go wrong it will go wrong that's what happened there oh you hate to see that because she was moving pretty well first one to get the tire up there all right they had the wrong canadian on the screen we'll fix that there we go second place currently Sam Bellavo. Sam Bellavo's having a, a great show. I mean, and I think Sam can do all five. I do. She'll want to secure a fast four. I don't think she's going to mess around. She'll probably go through the. I definitely think at this point. First. Yeah, at this point, it's the not tire worth class. the risk. Yep. And again, we had no idea the tire was going to do that because nobody got it up there. Yeah. But this is the advantage you get. When you get to go last, you yes, see is. what the other athletes do. You can make the decision. Nadia took a risk. It yeah. could have paid off. Unfortunately, this time it didn't. I think for Sam and for Mel, wow. they don't need to win this Smart. event. Here she goes, just like we thought. You need the She's fastest moving four. well. And what's the time for four? She's been quick for four. She's got time. Now she's got time to do this, and she also has height and wingspan. She can do this. Put the pressure. She left plenty of space on it. 
She's going to use that corner to try and help her. Oh! They keep trying to load the bottom for us. They, they need, need to kind of rest the top on and flip it on. That's oh, what they. Oh, so close. Great work, though. Very fast. That tire is just. That was so close to getting all five. So if you're Melissa Peacock right now, and what was you know, time? five implements and I win. The end. I think Melissa will know that four implements fast and she wins. Sam was very fast, though. So that's a she tough was, one. But she has a three-point lead over Sam. That's true. That's, and so she doesn't need to beat her. She needs to stay close. 38.29. Sam Peacock is our champion. 44 points, a dominant performance. Dominant performance. Sam Bellavo. 39 points she performed exceptionally yeah, well great, world amazing. record in event number one and nadia stowers even with that mistake on the loading clearly still third place well, yeah so much potential there as well she has incredible power sam Bellavo. and how good are the canadians wow. in the under 82 yeah. kilo class they are dominant that's what they are i would say they're dominant and what a weekend for canada what a weekend and here comes our Clash 82 kilogram world champion, Melissa Peacock. Melissa Peacock. She gets 12. What a champion. She's been training so hard for this. She is our Clash on the Coast under 82 kilo women champion 2022. Well deserved. She just didn't put a foot wrong. No. Every single event, she was there or thereabouts. And, and when she did, she recovered so quickly to make it happen when she needed it to happen. You just got to appreciate an athlete like that. Look at that. There Look is our that. podium. This is the inaugural uh, strong women clash competition. This is the first strong woman competition under Clash Banner. I couldn't be more proud of all of them. What they did, it's amazing. <laughs> There we go. There is our eight incredible athletes. Wow. That's just and our champion going for today. <laughs> She's a celebratory <laughs> beer there. <laughs> She's not messing around, <laughs> opening with the teeth as well. <laughs> uh, we're meeting a uh, large Marge here, she calls herself, or Frank <laughs> Frank the Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And up coming to us now is Sam in second place. Sam, come right over. Here we are with Sam, the second place finisher from Canada. All right, so you just competed four months ago. I want to know how you're feeling right now and how you came back from that so quickly. Yeah, so uh, when was it, March? At the Arnold, um, I uh, competed as a middleweight amateur and took first place winning every event. But I had to tune things really quickly to be able to jump in on a very hard prep, very heavy. Um, but it was great. I mean, everything was a PR today, and I just rode the fucking amazing ride today. It was fun. It was fun. Everything was a PR. So what was your personal favorite event? Obviously, the world record. I think uh, I've been working so hard on it, and it was just generally... <laughs> so great to have the opportunity today to do it with like a bunch of amazing people the beautiful weather it's just a great atmosphere so she weighed in under 180 pounds and pressed with one hand 183.4 pounds so i think that record is going to stay for a while and it looked very easy if, did it feel easy it actually felt way easier than my attempts before i think i had 190 today for sure and i know chrissy loves deadlifts so i want her to talk about the deadlift because we were watching that in awe together Okay, yes, I do love deadlifts, but guess what? We competed each other about four months ago, and I'm just letting you know that you absolutely dominated that competition. It was awesome to actually get to watch you dominate. Um, so it was super, super inspiring. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to add? No, thank you, everyone. Thanks for the fan. Thanks for these lovely ladies to take part of this weekend, and now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> All right. I totally agree. Have so much fun. Thank you so much. Congrats.